in a hurry. How to go from before to festive in just a few minutes. Aren't they gorgeous? And it doesn't take long either. Let's get started. So to get that look to go from your before to after, you just have to buff the surface of your natural nails or your enhancements, whatever you're wearing. Just give it a good buffing with like a medium or one of these spongy kind of things at about an 80 grit, but a spongy one. Just give each one a good buff. And then we wanna get rid of all the dust. Okay, so my first layer is going to be white because I want that, the glitter to just bounce off the white. You could use any color soft pink, but it'll, it'll make it look less vibrant. So I'm going to use a really highly pigmented white. You can do this with gel polish too. You can just paint on a gel polish, but I really want a low profile. So I want it to be as low as possible to that nail. So I just want a nice thin layer and it doesn't have to be a flawless application because we are covering the whole nail with the glitter. We just want to get a white background on there, but I do want it to be quite a low profile. I want to keep the integrity and the shape of the nail. Sometimes when we're adding gel polishes, it can add a depth to it. And when we're adding glitter on top of it, it can make it thicker. So I really am trying to avoid any of that thicker. And to be honest with you, this is pretty fast and easy. I love potted gels, so I have to be honest with you. It's just so much easier to use in my opinion. And a potted gel is simply just that. It's gel that we grab right out of the pot. It's not being used with a um, nail polish brush. I just take a peek on the other side just to make sure that I don't miss any little spots. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a nuke. Now, the idea of the glitter is you want it to stick to a sticky coat of gel. So we could stick it to this layer here, but usually these colored gels are not top coats and they have a sticky layer. So we want to stick it to a non-white top coat so that when you put it on and you put your glitter on it, then when you, you don't have to wipe it off because with the glitter, it's got a bit of a texture to it, right? So we've got the base coat there. So now I need the glitter because right now it will not stick to this if I pour it on. It just won't stick. And I do want a sticky surface. So I don't need this for a minute. I need this. So I'm going to apply a no wipe top coat on it and my glitter is going to stick to that. And that's going to be my final coat. So when you put this on, don't put it on thick, put it on thin. You just want to make sure you cover it. It's hard to see sometimes because it's so clear and it's going on white. But wherever it is not, you won't have any glitter in that spot. And you can fix that. Then you want to take your glitter. You have two choices. You can pour the glitter, which is great. I love doing that. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous, right? Or you can also dip it if you like. If you do your top coat on the thicker side, I wouldn't dip it so much because it tends to get a bit clumpy. But if you do it on the thinner side, dipping it would be all right. And then when you're finished, just give it a bit of a tap and get rid of it. And that's why you put it into a little dish so then you don't have to waste it and you can pour it back in, okay? So what I will do, this is the one last step I'll do before I nuke it. I will just gently, gently take away any little furry edges from the side because I just want a nice smooth nail on the end. And I will tap down just a little bit. If there's any loose glitter out there, I'm just gonna snuggle it into the top coat to just make sure that it is actually adhered. Now you'll see some all around the skin and stuff. That's the moisture of your skin. We'll just stick to that, no biggie. But if you can see that your top coat has spilled, do try to wipe it away. It will be hard to tell because you've got so much glitter around there. And then give it to Nuke. Okay, there you go. Now let's wipe away any of the glitter. Now this is so set, you can literally go and scrub with a scrub brush if you want and wash your hands.
and it's just on there. It's a texture, like a 3D kind of almost. If you find you don't like the textures that much, you can top coat it with the top coat. Don't forget to nuke it. You will still feel a little bit of the bumpiness. Some people love it. Some people don't like it. It's just totally up to you. You will still feel it a little bit, but if you did another top coat, you can not feel it at all. Sometimes too, certain glitters will lose a little bit of their luster. This doesn't really, it doesn't seem to be too bad. You put it on there and it still looks pretty shiny. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest. go. Now I'm just going to dust it off and then I'll go wash my hands and get rid of all the extra little sticky glitters. Very pretty. Now you can do a double coat of it if you like. If not, you can see the one coat is pretty good. You can just leave it and go. And if you poured it into a little dish or had your finger over a little dish, you can just pour it all back in. It's quite a bit. You don't want to waste it. And then I've got these little corks. You can just pop it back on. Until the next time. Check out the reveal shots, the sparkly reveals. Look at that, just in time for Christmas. Or if you're watching this more in the summer, it might be for a summer wedding. <laughs> Anyway, I do have this available. This is actually an NCE product and I'm so excited. It's so sparkly. It looks like sparkly snow, expensive snow. If you're looking to learn how to build the nails before you put the art on, check this video out. <laughs>